and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. It's breakfast time again on the Getting Into Raw show. We're using our Optimum 9200 blender today to make a chia pudding that's quick and easy. Now you can make a chia pudding by just simply soaking the chia seeds in your liquid overnight or for a few hours, sometimes even only 10 to 15 minutes will be enough. But this one's a blended chia pudding. Now chia seeds are absolutely amazing for you. They hold up to nine times their weight in water, so they're very gelatinous, they can make a jelly kind of base. So you can use them to make a, a terrine or anything like that. I've put just over a quarter of a cup of chia seeds straight into the bottom of the Optum 9200 blender. The next ingredient that I'm going to add is some almond milk. Now this is freshly made almond milk. You can see um, on the Fruity TV channel the recipe for this one and how to make it at home quickly and easily. I'm popping two cups of the almond milk in with the quarter of a cup of chia seeds. So it seems to be a lot of liquid for the amount of chia seeds, but it's not really because of how much water or how much uh, liquid that the chia seeds can absorb. And as I mentioned in a recent video with walnuts, chia seeds are also high in omega-3, so great brain food. We're going to blend those for just a few seconds on high. <laughs> So we've got a nice thick consistency, it's not too thick, um, nice thick consistency there with mm, the chia seeds and the almond milk, but we really want to add some more flavour to this. So we're going to start by adding a little bit of nutmeg and ginger to give it a bit of spice here, and we're going to also blend in about a third of a banana with the mix, so a little bit of ginger and a little bit of nutmeg, a pinch or two based on your own tastes for this particular one. We're also going to add a little bit of sweetness to this particular recipe and the sweetness will come this time from stevia. So there's no processed sugar. Stevia is a plant. Um, it's a green leaf plant. In Australia you can buy it even from the Bunnings store so that you can have your own. The kind of stevia that I'm using today is a liquid stevia. Now a lot of people ask me about how good stevia is for you. Is it a good alternative. I'm only adding three drops today. You don't need much at all. Is it a good alternative? Personally I have a small stevia plant and if I'm making a smoothie I'll just break the leaf off and put it straight in the smoothie so that'll add sweetness. I don't mind it in the liquid form like I've just used but if you think about a green leaf turning into a white powder as you can also buy stevia in a white powder a lot of processing has occurred so I don't recommend the use of that white powdered stevia but liquid seems to be just fine. So we've popped in our little bit of banana, our nutmeg and our ginger. We've popped a little bit of stevia for sweetness in there. And um, we're even going to pop in just a pinch of fresh coconut and blend that through as well. So the lid back on to the blender jug. Just a few more seconds on high. <laughs> It doesn't take long to blend up something soft like a banana. And then all you need to do is pour that into your bowl. Now this can serve a couple of people. I've popped it into a big bowl today. Tastes great. Oopsie daisies. We dress it up with a little bit of banana on top and some chia seeds and uh, some uh, goji berries. Now these will stir through beautifully. A little bit of coconut, and that's ready to go. You can eat that right away, or even better, if you leave it set overnight, you'll get a beautiful texture and consistency. If you want to add a few other omega-3s or a little bit of crunch to the recipe, some flax seeds, flax seeds are also called linseeds are a great addition. So we've got lots of omega-3s, lots of filling foods for a breakfast, we've got your banana which is going to give you instant energy and that little bit of sweetness, your goji berries are a superfood which are a complete protein and boost the immune system, so this is an overall good one to begin your day. Hope you enjoy it. Ciao for now.